Good morning and welcome back. It's now 551. This month's Miracle Monday is a story of patience, perseverance and positivity. Emily Bloom reports. Nash was born at just 27 weeks old and he spent the first five months of his life in the hospital. When we interviewed his family, they had no idea when their baby would finally make it home. And we're happy to share that he was sent home for the first time just a few days ago. His parents tell us they're now on Nash's timeline. We'll take him over to the window and be like, look buddy, there's more to this than just this room. For Desiree and Nick, the past five months have been a roller coaster. We're so thankful lately. It's been on the upward trend. They've been through quite a few trials already. You know, we were kind of faced with a decision to either um, let him pass or to do another surgery. They agreed at the beginning they'd never give up on their little boy. We have pep talks. Yeah, think, we do pep yeah. talks like, <laughs> you got this buddy, we can do this. They've done all they could to stay positive, even when they doubted it themselves. It seemed like when she was down or when she was feeling down, I'd be there to lift her up and vice versa. And they attribute that positivity to everything Nash has overcome. There was a long time when it wasn't at all clear whether he was going to survive. Dr. Underwood is convinced he's got the best job in the world. One of the things that's amazing about caring for very small premature babies is they're incredibly resilient. And the Children's Miracle Network played a big role in the development of his career. The Children's Miracle Network was really helpful in funding some very basic research on premature babies. And so every year they would offer small grants to help new investigators like me get started. These days, he's eternally grateful for the people who support the Children's Miracle Network and for the funding that goes to the smallest of babies. When we just look at dollar for dollar what we get for our money, the biggest return is always in babies and children. It's the little ones like Nash who represent our future. And he's just one of these little amazing babies who, in spite of a very difficult life, has a bright future. We're going to make it through this. It's the Children's Miracle Network that make life-saving care just like Nash had possible. If you want to help support programs like this right here in the Inland Northwest, you can donate to Children's Miracle Network. We've made it very easy. Just find the donation page at kxly.com slash giveforkids.